can give you guys everything you need to know to put a roof runoff system together inside a French drain system without compromising your French drain. Let's talk about the two different pipes that you're going to have when you're combining a French drain with a roof runoff system. A French drain has a perforated pipe. That pipe has holes in it. That pipe's designed to take in water and flow water through the void that the pipe creates in a bed of stone. Now, when you're running a roof runoff system, you want a solid pipe. You want to capture all the water, and you do not want to let it go. It is next to impossible to gather up all that water if you let that water go too soon. Always use a Y-fitting when you're merging two downspouts. You want the direction of flow to continue freely, and you don't want to use a T because it just slams the water to a stop. Make sure you tape those Y-fittings together so that you don't lose your water pressure in your roof runoff system. You need pressure to move shingle gravel and leaves. Now dig your trench wider where your downspout system is going to merge in with your French drain. You don't want to use the same pipe for your downspouts as you do your French drain because shingle gravel, leaves, and tree seeds will plug those perforations and your French drain will have an early expiration date. Now the system that we replaced was a PVC system and we don't like using PVC we prefer corrugated pipe because PVC cracks. In the north, we have freeze-ups, and you can't avoid a freeze-up. You can't build around a freeze-up. You can't build yourself out of freeze-ups. I don't care how much slope you got. I don't care what pipe you use. In the north, ice builds up. Now, let me show you a downspout pipe entering the French drain system. You want to cut the fabric. You want to cut it, and you don't want to cut it oversized. You want to cut it to where you can just barely pull the pipe through. Now the dirt is not going to find its way into the French drain system and clog the voids in the stone, preventing the water from flowing freely. This is how you enter a French drain with a downspout pipe. And you want to keep that solid pipe next to your perforated pipe. Do not tie it in because it's going to fill your perforated pipe full of debris. And once those perforations are full of debris, the pipe won't take in water anymore. So always, always keep those two systems separate. We put a pop-up at the end of the downspout line right over the French drain. It's going to take in all the water. Now, the top of the fabric on the French drain we put in a year ago in the backyard got ripped up during the pool construction. So we went ahead and we cut that torn up, compromised fabric off the top and replaced it with new you can see all the dirt filling in the voids of the stone i don't understand how some contractors don't use fabric dirt will just plug your french drain without fabric build it right the first time we ran our roof runoff system all the way to the very back of the yard before we ended it with a pop-up emitter because our roof runoff system is completely isolated from the french drain and the only thing they have in common is we're sharing the trench with both systems. Because the roof runoff system is a solid pipe, it can't contaminate the French drain system. And because we have the French drain system wrapped in fabric, the dirt can't fill the voids of the stone, plugging the French drain, contaminating the French drain. One thing I can guarantee you, if you don't use fabric and if you don't use a separate pipe for your roof runoff system, you're gonna have a short-lived French drain system. If you want a French drain to last forever, use the fabric so that it keeps filtering out all those debris and isolate your systems. Do not share your French drain pipe with your roof runoff system. Now, if you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up, it supports the channel. And if you have any questions about this job, leave them in the comments section. We also replaced a broken pop-up in the front yard with one of our pop-ups. This will be the last pop-up the homeowner ever has to have. If you do it right the first time, you won't have to revisit it later. Our indestructible pop-up set at dirt level lasts forever. The turf restrictor plate around this pop-up prevents the grass from growing over the pop-up allowing the system to always daylight so you don't have a failed roof runoff system. All right, everybody. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until that next video.